On this channel, I've made a few speculations and assumptions based around DLC and future content for Cyberpunk 2077. But about seven months ago, I was checking out Compeki Plaza in the beta version and found an iguana egg. This was removed from the subsequent versions of the game, but has recently been reintroduced in patch 1.5, and as far as I can tell, actually allows you to have an iguana pet in V's apartment. So I'm going to show you how to get the iguana egg, and I'm also going to show you how to get Nibbles the cat as well. But for those of you who have already played the game and are unable to obtain the iguana egg, I'm going to show you how to glitch back into Compeki Plaza in patch 1.5, so you can get the iguana if you so desire. My name's Mike, this is Deconstructing the Game, let's get to it. If you're returning to Cyberpunk 2077 after patch 1.5 or if you're a brand new player to Cyberpunk, I'm going to show you where the iguana egg is as it's not as obvious as it was in the beta version because in the beta version it was highlighted with a gigantic yellow exclamation mark and in this version it's quite hard to spot unless you're looking for it. Behind the log is the iguana egg and you can pick it up, it does show as being rare junk but if you keep it in your inventory and head back to V's apartment you'll see that this plate appears and you can place the iguana egg in the bowl. Now I must stress that you must meet Takamura first in playing for time before this appears but once you've met Takamura you can go back to your apartment and place the egg. And then once you wait a few hours, a few days, the iguana egg should hatch. Now, for me, it hasn't hatched yet, I'm still waiting, but I have seen videos. If you want to get the cat, you're going to have to get some cat food. You can get that in most places that sell food. And if you go around to the left where V's apartment is, you'll find a data shard mentioning a cat. If you place the cat food in the bowl, sleep a day, and then go back to that location, you'll find Nibbles the cat eating the cat food, and you can pick them up and place them in your apartment where they will live for forevermore and they'll be seen in various different places in the apartment. Now I'm not sure if Nibbles the cat is essential to getting the iguana to hatch, I'm not sure if Nibbles somehow helps the iguana hatch or not, but I'm just using belts and braces here because mine hasn't hatched yet, so I got Nibbles in a new playthrough just to see if that would help. Now if you've seen my original Compeki Plaza break-in video, you'll know that the way of getting in is quite elaborate and it takes quite some time jumping on the monorail and going all the way around. You can still do that if you so wish, it's not necessary because there are a couple of other ways that are far easier like spawning a van, jumping across some fences and then you're into Compeki Plaza straight away. That's quite simple but if you want to explore the waterfront this is a good way of doing that because you can jump into some areas which are not supposed to be visited as well. They have put an invisible barrier above Compeki Plaza on the right hand side but you can easily just kind of jump around that without too much problem. So what happens when you're in Compeki Plaza um, area then? All you have to do is get to the back of the building, spawn a car and if you get close enough to that barrier and then open the door you should be able to activate that shutter and it will go up. So I'm not sure who originally discovered this glitch um, but it is still available in patch 1.5 and then from here you basically just run all the way up the building and um, up the elevators and uh, back to the penthouse. Now once you get to that level where you and Jackie fell through the roof you're going to discover that it's very hard to jump through that area. It's actually impossible because they've, in, uh, they've added an invisible wall and invisible roof over that initial bit so you can't jump through there but what you can do is if you go to the area where the pool is jump on the tree it's quite difficult and it's quite hard to master but jump on the tree with using double jump and you can basically double jump your way through that roof and then dodge and grab the ledge once you're on the roof it can be tricky getting up to the actual penthouse because there's that slanted kind of window frame there you have to just kind of double jump your way up there and then once you get to the top you have to get really close to the side and then double jump um, while moving back a little bit and you'll grab the ledge. And then once you're in the, uh, the penthouse like before just go to the back of the iguana enclosure where the log is and you'll find the egg. Now I must stress that sometimes this egg doesn't always appear in your current playthrough. When I first loaded up the game, I had a couple of saves in Compeki Plaza from the heist mission and the iguana egg wasn't anywhere to be seen. But once I played through a new mission, I was able to reload my previous saves and the iguana egg was there. I'm not sure what kind of weird glitch this is. I know I did actually look very, very hard for this egg, but it did appear after starting a new game and it was there in all my save files. So I'm not sure if that's a glitch. If you don't find the iguana egg in a current playthrough, you might have to restart and play the heist again. But 
you know, if you don't want to play the whole game again, this is a small price to pay if you do want the iguana. Now, I did see Sansco saying that there is a few more secrets to find. I did think that there was going to be an iguana enclosure. Someone did mention why, why is there not an iguana enclosure. And he did say that we haven't found everything yet. So possibly there's a couple of items in the game we can collect, whether it be through missions in a new playthrough or through stores or something. We never know, or maybe there's stuff coming in the future. So that's how to get the iguana. That's how to get Nibbles the cat. And you can break back into Kempeki Plaza if you really, really want the iguana in a current place through without you having to sacrifice that save and start all over again so if you enjoyed the content guys check out more videos of the cyberpunk glitches and exploitations that we use and we also do a few videos on no glitches as well and just kind of talk about the game in general so if you like that check out the channel we might go live a couple of times talking about 1.5 and uh, we're going to be talking about elden ring sometime in the future as well so thanks for watching guys and as always i'll catch you later